This video is to teach you how to compile source code in Linux Mint version 20.1. We're going to use Dave Ganukum to do this. What is Dave Ganukum? Well, the other day I was experimenting with Portable App Suite and I stumbled upon this Dave Ganukum game that was in the game section. Dave Ganukum is a game that is very much like the original Duke Nukem 1 from Apogee Software. When I was growing up, I used DOS. That's why if you notice in my other videos where I use a lot of command line, I'm very comfortable with command line. It's very concise and fast. And it works universally on any Linux distro you can imagine. I've always been a fan of games from Apogee Games and Epic Mega Games, old DOS games like that, so when I stumbled on Dave Ganukum, I just simply had to try it. So I went to the home page and this is what happened. I clicked download latest release. It takes me to SourceForge. I really wanted this bad for my Linux, but all this site wants to send me is the source code because this program doesn't have any Linux binaries. It only has source code. I'm just looking inside this archive really quick to show you the files that are inside. This is the source code, but this is not the source code we're going to use. So, I'm going to close this out and close that out. I'm going to load my document here on the left side. I'm going to take you through step-by-step step how to get this game to work in Linux. This is the first time that I've ever successfully compiled source code. I'm going to move this window over here. And step number one is to make three folders in the home folder. Icons, scripts, and games. I already did this in the first video. So step number two is just to go into the games folder, right click, and left click, open in terminal. So step number three, run these commands. I'm just going to do a lot of copy and paste here. This installs git, which is necessary to do the git cloning to get the files. This next command here gives you your program folder. I'm going to type in CD Dave Ganukum. Let me copy this line here. This line here actually gives you the data folder. This line here renames your data folder to data, which seems like it's absolutely necessary to get it to run correctly. This command here installs build essential and a couple of older lib SDL libraries. That's what's going to make it possible to actually compile the source code. I'm going to go ahead and click yes and pause the video for now because this is going to take a few minutes. Okay, that only took approximately two minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and paste the last command here. sudo make, this is what actually compiles the source code. Okay, I'm going to type in exit to exit a terminal. You see that step number four here, I was going to take you to this ICO convert website to convert the BMP over to PNG. We're actually just going to do it ourselves. I'm going to minimize this document, close this window, and I'm just going to load GIMP.
I'm going to go to file and open home folder. I'm going to the directory where I installed the game into the data folder and there's a bitmap image I believe in here. There it is right there. So I'm going to open, go to file, export as. But I'm going to I'll put this in the icons folder. I'm just going to go along with defaults here. Should work fine. Okay, the very next step is we're going to make a script that actually launches the game. Okay, go into the scripts folder, right click, and left click open in terminal. You want to type in xcd dave .sh. You're going to have a text editor window popped up. You just want to simply copy and paste this text right here into that text editor window. You're going to go to file, save, and exit. Next, you're going to type in this line or just copy and paste. chmod plus x makes the file executable. Exit. Okay, I'm going to exit this window and create a menu entry in the Linux Mint menu. This part's really easy. Right click down here on the start menu icon and left click on edit menu. You're going to left click on games and click new item. Fill in the name field and under command you're going to browse to the script you just created. Now click the icon symbol on the left side of the window. You're going to click home icons and highlight the icon you just created. Click OK, and that's it. It should launch. I'm going to close the editor. I'm going to close this document out, and let's give this a shot here. Looks great. It's actually running. Heck, I got to try this for a second. Okay, that's all I'm playing for now. I just mainly wanted to show you how to create the source code. That was the focus of this video. Anyway, enjoy. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.